China has defended its role at this month's climate change talks in Copenhagen, saying Premier Wen Jiabao played a key part in reaching a deal. The government's foreign ministry website says China played a crucial role in what it calls a tortuous and difficult process. Mutual accusations have erupted over the summit's watered-down final agreement. It has been widely slammed for its failure to oblige countries to implement fixed greenhouse gas emissions cuts. Britain's climate change minister accused China of vetoing attempts to give legal force to the accord and of blocking an agreement on carbon reductions. China's foreign ministry, however, rejected the criticism, saying it was made to foment discord among developing countries. China has revised upward its official economic data for 2008. The new figures show the economy was faster growing, more services based and closer to overtaking Japan as the world's second largest economy than previously estimated. The National Bureau of Statistics says China's 2008 gross domestic product was 31.4 trillion yuan or around 4.6 trillion dollars, about 4.5 percent larger than the previous estimate of 30.1 trillion yuan. Real economic growth for the year was revised to 9.6%, up from 9%. The revision comes at a time when China's economy is on track to hit 8% growth in 2009, fueled by the government's 4 trillion yuan stimulus package to help the economy weather the effects of the global economic downturn. The European Union has said it is deeply concerned at an 11-year prison sentence imposed on China's dissident Liu Xiaobo. A Beijing court handed down the sentence to the former university professor on Christmas Day for inciting subversion of state power. Liu has consistently called for greater political rights and free speech for China's citizens. A statement released by the EU presidency in Stockholm called the sentence excessive and said it raised concern about respect for human rights and the right to a fair trial in China. Meanwhile, UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Navi Pillay, called the sentence extremely harsh and said it marked a further severe restriction on the scope of freedom of expression in China. However, a court statement said the court had strictly followed the legal procedures in this case and fully protected Liu's litigation rights. Earlier this week, China's foreign ministry called statements from embassies calling for Mr. Liu's release were a gross interference of China's internal affairs. A United Nations official has urged China not to execute a British man sentenced to death for drug trafficking. Akmal Sheikh faces execution on Wednesday. The UN Special Rapporteur on Extrajudicial, Summary or Arbitrary Executions, Philip Alston, said there were very strong indications that Mr. Sheikh suffers from mental illness and that Chinese courts failed to take this into account. He added that executing a mentally ill man would be a major step backwards for China. China, however, insists the case was handled properly and that Mr. Sheikh's rights were fully respected. If the death penalty is carried out, the 53-year-old Londoner would become the first national from a European Union country to be executed in China in 50 years. Sheikh was arrested in 2007 in the western Chinese city of Urumqi, carrying nearly 9 pounds of heroin. More than 10 gay websites in China have recently been forced to close or have their accounts deleted by their server hosting companies. That's according to the Ai Zhixing Institute, a Beijing-based NGO that protects the legal rights of special groups. It also offered free legal aid to webmasters whose sites had been shut down. An official at Ai Zhixing said they had already provided free legal aid to three webmasters this year. One webmaster whose gay website in Beijing was closed by his web hosting company said they told him the reason was that gay websites might hold immoral information and pornographic literature. Some webmasters of gay websites say they have even been forced to host their websites on foreign servers. China has put more than 4.7 million computers in over 81,000 internet cafes under watch to crack down on illegal online games. Minister of Culture Tai Wu said the government closed well over 219 illegal internet games with what he called lewd, pornographic and violent content. It had also blocked access to illegal games on nearly 90 million occasions this year. China launched a series of nationwide campaigns to crack down on the spread of pornographic content through the internet and mobile phones earlier this year. The Ministry of Public Security says it has so far closed down more than 2,300 web websites accessible by mobile phones and arrested 34 people for running those websites. 
A man who shot dead a rare tiger in the southern province of Yunnan has been sentenced to 12 years in prison and fined over $80,000. He was convicted of possessions of a gun and illegally catching and killing a wild endangered animal. An accomplice was jailed for four years and ordered to pay $2,800 for covering up the crime. The Indo-Chinese tiger, which is on China's list of endangered species, was shot in nature reserve in February. According to the Save the Tiger Fund, only around 1,000 Indo-Chinese tigers are left in the wild. The group says the animals have been severely poached in many areas. Chinese automaker Geely has said it will change little at Volvo if it succeeds in acquiring the Swedish luxury car brand. The firm's top executive, Li Shufu, said Volvo's current production, R&D facilities, union agreements and dealer networks would all be left intact. He added that Volvo and Geely would be two independently managed brands. Ford said on Wednesday it was nearing an agreement to sell its Volvo unit to Geely, China's largest private automaker. The value of the deal, expected for early next year, has been estimated at $1.8 billion, far short of the $6.45 billion Ford paid for Volvo in 1999. Lee said the Volvo purchase would help Geely develop new energy vehicles and that Geely would help Volvo reduce production costs and expand in the Chinese market. And that's the BON headlines for now, but we'll be back with more news after this.